water. How's it going, everybody? It's Yeong here, and welcome to a Zelda Breath of the Wild news update. The following information comes from Nintendo's official Japanese website, where they have updated the Zelda page with character bios of some of the characters that we have seen throughout the game's various trailers. As you might expect, the text is all in Japanese, but a Reddit user going by the name of Pixel Pushing provided a translation for all the excerpts. So let's begin by checking out the game's synopsis and background. The text here translates as follows. A disaster occurred, and the Kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. A hundred years later, the hero Link awakens from a long slumber in underground ruins. Led by a mysterious voice, he steps into the world. Next up is a description of Link, which states the following. A young man who wakes up without any memories, guided by a mysterious voice, he is cast into a journey across the vast Hyrule. Then we have Zelda, whose description states, Princess of the Hyrule Kingdom, a complex girl who is wise, curious, and gentle, researches the ancient ruins scattered around the world. The website then dives into some of the lesser-known NPCs who we got a very brief glimpse of in Breath of the Wild's 2017 trailer. First up, we have Daruk, whose description states, A Goron who lives in Hyrule, one of the fiercest warriors among the Goron tribes. He is always calm. Once he enters battle, he has a brave and brutal side, shouting powerfully as he knocks down enemies. Next up is Revali, who is a Rito who lives in Hyrule. He is wrapped in the same blue cloth as Daruk and Mifa. On that note, it is worth pointing out that Zelda and Link also wear a similarly colored and designed blue attire, which begs the question, what is their connection? One theory that I have is that some of the NPCs we see here might be the equivalent of sages from past games, one per race perhaps but hard to say for sure with so little information at this point. Moving along, we have Mifa, who is a Zora who lives in Hyrule, has an introvert personality and doesn't speak much. She has special powers not found in other Zora. The website then provides descriptions for two of Breath of the Wild's enemies, starting with the Guardian, who is described as relics that people are said to have created a long time ago. A major disaster caused them to suddenly attack people, and a hundred years later, they still continue. So basically, Skynet. Last but not least, we have the Bokoblin, one of the first enemies you'll encounter in Breath of the Wild. They're described as a type of monster living in Hyrule. They make a living by making hideouts with multiple creatures. It is pretty as a bee begins. Find them on the move and they will attack. So there you go, some interesting bits of information to chew on. I definitely get the feeling that characters like Daruk, Revali, and Mifa will end up being something akin to sages in Breath of the Wild and will be instrumental to sealing Calamity Ganon's evil away. Also interesting to note is that Revali has been confirmed to be a Rito, the bird-like race that has only made an appearance in Wind Waker, which could be indication that Breath of the Wild does in fact take place in the Wind Waker timeline, as many have theorized. As if that wasn't evidence enough, Breath of the Wild also features Koroks, another race that can only be found in Wind Waker, and NPCs like Beetle, who has only made an appearance throughout the Wind Waker timeline after the timeline splits into three following the events of Ocarina of Time. Breath of the Wild also has that post-apocalyptic undertone that is akin to Wind Waker. Long story short, when you look at all the evidence, and when you consider that Onuma has confirmed that Breath of the Wild does happen after the timeline split in Ocarina of Time, it is most likely that Breath of the Wild does take place somewhere in the Wind Waker timeline. That's my theory at least, but we'll have to wait until the game launches to determine where exactly Breath of the Wild fits in the Zelda universe. But these character bios do seem to provide some hints in that regard. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what you think about these characters and the roles that they'll play in Breath of the Wild. And share with us what your theories are regarding where you think Breath of the Wild fits in the Zelda timeline. And to be further updated on all things Zelda Breath of the Wild, stay tuned right here on Yongya. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.